Hey everyone! So recently one of you guys had requested a makeup tutorial on a look that I was wearing in a previous video so I thought that I would do that for you guys today and it's actually a look that I would typically wear on like a regular day if I'm like running errands or going to work or whatever the case may be. It's just a really easy like go-to look for me so I'm gonna show you how I did it and I'm gonna be using a lot of browns and neutral colors just because those are the colors that I wear most often on my eyes and I think it's a very wearable look so if you guys want to know how I created this look that I have on right now just keep watching okay first things first you always want to make sure you moisturize your skin really well before you apply any makeup and these two I use on a daily basis next I'm gonna take my NYX HD photogenic concealer in the color medium and I'm gonna apply this in the areas that I have redness any blemishes or just anything I want to cover up. I'll typically just use concealer and some powder instead of foundation just because I find that I don't really need to use foundation on a daily basis so it's a lot easier for me to just use concealer to cover up any problem areas and I do find that this concealer does a great job. I think it applies and blends really well but at the same time it gives you really great coverage and it's buildable. So here I'm just kind of blending it out and evening out my skin tone. And this concealer is actually mineral enriched and it does have some light diffusing properties so it'll brighten up the areas where you apply it. So after the concealer has been blended out, I'm going to take my NYX powder foundation in the color golden beige along with a powder brush. I'm just going to dust this all over my face and this will kind of take away the shine and it also gives just a little bit extra coverage as well. And I have combination skin so I don't get overly oily but when I do it's usually in my t-zone so I have to make sure I powder that. Okay so moving on to the eyes I'm gonna grab my Maybelline color tattoo in the color bad to the bronze and I'm just gonna use this as a base for my eyeshadow. You can always just wear this color on its own but I just like to use it as a base and it works really well with the colors that I'm using today. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and I'm going to blend it out with a clean finger towards my brow bone. And then I'm going to take my Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this bronzy brown color with a angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. And now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take a darker matte brown color here. And I'm going to be using a smaller crease brush. And I'm just going to be applying the color on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm just going to put it right here to create a V shape and I'm going to bring it all along the top of my crease. Doing this will help contour and define your eyes a lot more. And then we're just going to take a blending brush and we're just going to blend out any harsh edges and this will help soften the look a little bit. So taking that same dark brown color with a smaller pencil brush this time, we're going to drag that color along the outer half of your lower lash line. Using the same brush and color, you can go back in and redefine your crease area. And for some reason, these eyeshadows are actually appearing a little bit darker than it actually is in real life. And I think it's probably my horrible lighting. So now I'm going to take a golden pink color with that pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this on the inner corners of my eyes and along my lower lash line. And you're also going to want to apply this right in the middle of your lids because this will really make your eyes pop. And now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and this is the Essence Gel Liner in black that you guys recommended me and I love it so much. It just applies really creamy and it stays all day. So I'm just going to be creating a wing on the outer corner of my eyes and I just bring it in slightly to the inner corner of my eyes, staying as close to my lash line as possible. And then I'll just take whatever's left on the brush to line my lower lash line to connect the outer corners of my eyes just slightly. 
I'm pretty much done with my eyes, but I'm going to save the mascara for the very end. And now moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Hoola bronzer and an angled brush to contour my cheeks and areas of my face. After contouring, I like to go back and highlight the areas right above my cheekbone and underneath my eyes. And I'm actually using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in the color yellow. And this is actually a color corrector, but it does a really great job at highlighting these areas. So I'm just going to dot it underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and just a little bit on my cupid's bow. And now I'm just taking my ring finger and gently pat and blend out the color corrector. Right underneath my eyes, I'm blending downwards toward my nose and right above my cheekbones upwards toward my temples. This will really brighten up the area around your eyes. And applying this right above your contour really gives your cheekbones a lift. And it almost gives your skin like a really natural glow. So you want to carefully and gently blend this out to make sure it looks even. And I'm going to blend this out upwards on the bridge of my nose to give it a slight contoured effect. I personally think contouring and highlighting your face makes a huge difference. And now I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is Early Morning by MAC. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks, blending it upwards. And you can just use any pretty peach colored blush. I think it keeps it very natural looking. Now I'm taking Soft and Gentle by MAC and I'm going to dust a little of this on the tops of my cheekbones. I actually don't use this on like a daily basis but I thought I would go the extra mile and show you guys what it would look like and do some extra highlighting. And I'm actually using a fluffy blending brush to apply this because I just wanted to concentrate it on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm also just going to dust a little bit on the bridge of my nose and right above my cupid's bow. And now to finish up the eyes, I'm just going to apply a few coats of mascara and I normally don't curl my lashes. I think they stand up fine with mascara, so that's all I'm going to do. And now to complete the whole look, I'm just going to apply some lip balm in a really pretty natural pink color. This is a Revlon balm stain in the color Honey. It actually is very close to my natural lip color, so it's kind of like my lips but better. So this is basically the finished look here. I did add on some false lashes to show you guys what it looks like. I don't typically wear false lashes on a daily basis unless I'm filming or going out or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment below if you guys are interested in a skincare routine video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!